Speaking of schools, another tradition includes bringing teachers from around the country to run right here in New York City. Our Michelle Charlesworth spoke to one from right here on Staten Island. She joins us now with that story from the Upper East Side. Hey, Michelle. Hey, good morning. So this was an honor. This was really a cool story to get to write and cover. This is about a uh, high school physics teacher, yeah, Jenny can. Salerno. She is uh, obviously a full-time high school physics teacher. She is also a mom of two kids under the age of eight. Her husband is in medical school, and she says that running is her me time. She had no time. There is zero time. She has no time in her days, but she was able to get all these practice runs in. I talked to her students. She said They said she cares so much. That was the first thing they said. Second thing was that she's so fun when she teaches. She shows them the physics. It's very hands-on. And then she goes back to the classroom, to the page, and goes to the math, explains that, to go with it. I fixed the launcher, so we should be good to go, okay? Physics teacher Jenny Salerno is running the TCS New York City Marathon because she can. She was born in Ukraine, and she takes nothing for granted. I remember growing up, we lived in a one-room apartment. So our living room and our bedroom for everyone was the same place. At four, Jenny and her family came to America, a place her parents knew would be far more fair and unbiased. People who were Jewish were shunned often. She was told never take opportunities for granted and always try her best. Jenny graduated third in her high school class of 1,000, then magna cum laude from NYU. Oh, now, now, now. Whoa, that was a good one. Now, Ms. Salerno is one of the most interesting high school physics teachers this side of Cape Canaveral. <laughs> TCS team teachers picked her and 49 other teachers out of hundreds who applied to run. So running is also an honor. Around 50, awesome. I love that you caught it up in the sky. After this rocket launch, tomorrow my students will come back to class and we're gonna do all the math that goes with the fun that they had, okay? Now that you saw your rocket launch, can we figure out what was your max height? What was your max speed? Her students have no idea how she does so much so well. She cares so much. She's one of the most caring teachers I know. She does so much and then you find out more and you're like, wow, like how does she handle all of that stuff? She comes on Saturdays and tutors after when she's not required to. As a mom of two with a hubby in med school, Jenny's me time runs very short these days. When I run, I bring my phone for music, but no one can contact me. And so it's my own, my own time to be me. And I give so much of myself to everyone else the rest of the day that I really need that. Each step of her life, she has promised her parents to make the most of everything, whether work or fun. I didn't waste it, and I'm not going to. Man, is that ever true? We're at 62nd Street on First Avenue. Um, take a look. This is the Queensboro Bridge behind me. Um, cyclists coming through right now. But uh, this place gets loud as heck. Yeah. It's so much fun to be here. Yeah. <laughs>